Hello, and welcome to my Devil May Cry The Bloody Pals paint series. Today, I'll be working on the Devil Hunter V, the mysterious one. V also utilizes his familiar shadow, which is a separate game piece, so I'll be painting both today. All of V's moves involve manipulating the battlefield using shadow and griffin and he can only finish off his enemies if he himself can deal a death blow. I start like any other miniature. I go ahead and I trim any extra mold lines. You'll find these on his arms, his cane, as well as a bit on the side of his shoes and on the tips of Griffin's wings. A little bit on the coat as well, but be careful as there are some lines on the coat that are there for just aesthetic purposes. Shadow's tail and back, as well as the edges of his blade, have various little bits of mold line on there, but you can just shore them off real fast. I prime V differently than I prime Shadow. V gets a coat of uniform gray. I love my new little turntable. Shadow gets a coat of matte black. This will do most of the work, as Shadow is basically just that, Shadow. Coming back with the matte black, I go ahead and I just begin painting all of the black bits of V's attire. This includes his vest, his pants, his hair, and he also wears these sort of sandals, but we'll get to that afterwards because we have to freehand them. Using fair skin, I go ahead and I base coat all of the skin tones on his body, his exposed feet, chest the little bits of skin beneath his uh, uh, straps on his jacket, his face, and arms. When I'm done painting the skin, I take my still wet black and I go ahead and I just sort of freehand some little straps for his sandals. With Kraken Blue, I go ahead and I begin base coating the entirety of Griffin. Griffin comes with a couple different colors, but for the most part, his body is this very rich, dark blue. There's lots of like, there's lots of texture, so you have to make sure the paint is nice and watered down and apply two layers to ensure that the paint gets everywhere. With Alien Purple, I'm just gonna real quick do the legs and claws of Griffin. The only part on V's model that has the purple. With Light Tone, I go ahead and I just sort of wash all of V's body with that. I make sure it doesn't pull anywhere too severely, and just sort of make sure to get every little bit. Some blue tone. I go ahead and I just sort of give Griffin this entire wash. You want to darken down the blue and sort of fill in those gaps between the feathers. Coming back with the fair skin, I begin highlighting each bit of the skin, more so the upwards facing of skin. I focus on the nose and cheeks, any sort of part of the body that would stick out more like the musculature. Coming back with the crack and blue, I just real quick give it a dry brush just to sort of bring the color back a little and highlight the feather tips. Ghostly blue, I'm going to real quick sort of paint the weird pattern that appears on the inside of Griffin's wings. This pattern almost resembles an eye with a line under it. Sort of like you would find on other sort of like wild animals that need to scare off predators. Mithril Silver. I go ahead and I get V's cane. I also make sure to get his zipper. I, however, neglect to get the metallic part of his belt buckle, so be sure to grab that. With Necromancer Cloak, I'm just going to very carefully color in Griffin's head. Depending on which iteration of Griffin, who drew it or painted it, or whether it's the in-game model, it kind of seems like his head is a different color. I also use this Necromancer Cloak to sort of edge highlight all the more outstanding parts of these attire. I use the same necromancer cloak in a dry brush just to just sort of catch the edges of all the weird stitching and seams that go all over his coat. 
With Cambion Crimson, I attempt to get the skin around the eyes of Griffin. Uh, I put a little too much water, so it's a bit of a mess, but I go back and I fix it up. Griffin also has these three long streaks going down the front of his body that are also share the same color. Matte black again. I'm just gonna real quick do this base before moving on to shadow. I take some alien purple, mix it with the last bit of that matte black, and just begin giving it a overbrush over the entire model. It kind of is a very dark purple at this point, almost black. And an overbrush is very similar to a dry brush, except you don't take most of the paint off. I add a little bit more of that alien purple, and when I dry brush, I just get the very most light catching parts of the body, like the musculature and the top of each part of its body. With Mithril Silver, I go ahead and I begin very carefully getting the bladed edges of Shadow's transformed parts. Tiny drop of that Cambian Crimson again, just to dot the eyes on Shadow. Angelic Yellow, I'm gonna go back and dot the eyes on Griffin as well. Very tiny, but they're there. That's yeah, good enough. Troll Skin, I'm gonna go ahead and take this green and just do the very outer feathers on each of the wings as well as the back tail. Tail feathers? Yeah, those. The green is only on the back facing parts of Griffin. A little bit of matte black, I just sort of freehand some weird curly lines to represent V's tattoos. Now these tattoos vanish and become his familiars, Griffin and Shadow, when he uses them. But I figured just a little, it couldn't hurt. This part's more optional and you don't have to do it if you think you don't have the freehand skill. Like, I know I don't have freehand skill, but I, I gave it a swing. Come back with the alien purple and I just sort of very lightly highlight the direction facing markers for the bases. Again, this part's slightly important so that it's much easier to see where they're oriented on the battlefield because that's important for how their abilities work. With that, I'd say that's a wrap for my Griffin and Shadow and V, the mysterious one. I like how these models turn out. Shadow's sort of subtle purple, I feel like it really matches how it appears in the game. I'm still working on my skin tone, so V didn't turn out quite how I like it, and in certain lights he seems to sort of like glow a different color than I expected him to, but overall, I think I did a good job. If you liked the video, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.